Hi, my name is Adora Kioli. Let's pray. Oh God, bless us this day and bless the children going to Sunday school and the parents going to church and bless those who have lost their loved ones and bless those the sick and the poor. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's welcome, welcome the worship team. I was asked to join the music team and the drums and the drama team. Oh. Wow, wait, isn't that too much work? Yeah, personally, I find it too much work and nobody ever appreciates me. Yeah, true, we never get any medals mm -mm. or trophies no. for that. You know, I don't want to join the team. God is calling us to serve him. Well, I didn't get that call from him, so... No, 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 no. Uh -uh. Wait, 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 wait. One minute. You mean that singing and dancing in your church is serving God? Yes. We are to serve him with our gifts what? and talents always. Oh. You know what? Our Sunday school teacher always asked me to help in giving out the take-homes to the boys and girls. Is that serving? Yes, Shadi, that is serving. We, are, we have so many ways we can serve God wherever we are. So we can serve God even when we are not in church, you mean? Yes, in school, yeah. at home, for the big oh. people at their workplaces and in church too. Amazing. Then I have truly been serving God. My mom and my dad Ask me to take care of the garden, mm. I water the plants, and feed the dogs, woo, 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 and they're so happy. I too am serving God in the school art club, in, in the music also. Mm -hmm. Wonderful! We should always serve God wherever we are. In whatever we do, we should do as unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let us sing that song. Mm -hmm. Serve Him. Serve him, serve him in the morning, serve him in the noon time. Serve him, serve him, serve him when the sun goes down. Wow, guys, let's go and serve God and also hear what teacher will tell us about being called to serve God. Bye. Bye. See you. Serve him, serve him. Good morning. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? It is a pleasure, it is a delight to see all of you. I'm happy to see you once again. But before we start the lesson, can we say a prayer? Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. 
we thank you for this lesson. Please help us to know more about Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. Welcome, welcome boys and girls. We have a special lesson for you today. I am sure you are going to like it. But before we start, I'd like us to appreciate Charlie and his friends together with the praise and worship team. They did an excellent job in serving God. Can we clap for them? Yes, let's go ahead. One, two, three, cheers. Again, let's encourage them. One, two, three, cheers. Well done. And some of you also, you did share your craft and it was very, very, very good. Let's have a look at it. Done, well done, well done. And again, I'll clap for you. One, two, three, cheers. Again, one, two, three, cheers. And well done. Keep sending your work because it is when you send that you get to know more and more about Jesus. Boys and girls, do you remember the series that we are doing? It is about God is calling us. God is calling us. Do you remember the lessons we learned in the previous week? The previous weeks? Yes, I remember too. God is calling us to salvation. And also, God is calling us to obedience. I hope many of you did receive Jesus Christ and I hope also you are obeying your parents, your teachers, and most importantly, God. Our lesson for today again is God is calling us. And do you know what? God is calling us to, to serve him. But before we go into the lesson, I want to ask you a question. When was the last time you did something nice for someone? When was it? What did you do? And how did that other person feel? I'm sure you are going to say that the other person felt so nice. I'm sure you're also going to say that you yourself felt very nice when you did something for that other person. Maybe your friend, maybe your teacher, maybe even your mom or dad. You know, when you do something for someone, that is serving. That is serving. And today, that is our lesson. Serving God. God has called us to serve him. Boys and girls, but how do we serve God? Can you just take a minute and let me know how do you serve God? There are so many ways of serving God as a child and as a grown-up as well. I will tell you some of the ways. When you play with your friends and you share your toys, you see I have some toys here. When I share them with my friends, do you know that is one way you can serve God? When you go to school and mom has packed for you some lunch, some break, like me here, I have some food here. You can share the food with your friend. You can share them, you can share with them if they don't have, or even if they ask you. So when you share your toys with your friend, when you share your food, that 
is serving God and also serving others. And you know what? Even very easy, you can pray for them. When you pray for your mom, your dad, someone who is sick, when you pray for them, you are serving God. Uh huh. Can you see there are so many ways, including even when you are visiting someone who is sick in hospital and praying for them, that is serving God. Boys and girls, today we have a special Bible story for you on serving God. And it comes from the book of Acts chapter 9 and verse 36. It's a story of a special lady called Dorcas. Let me read it. Let me read it. And it says, there was a very good woman named Dorcas and she lived in a town of Joppa. Everybody loved Dorcas. Her other name was Tabitha. And they loved her because she would sew beautiful clothes and help the poor always. She did good deeds for people. I want you to watch this short video clip and then I'll be right back to explain what we learned. There is a wonderful account of a very special lady. She loved Jesus and wanted to share his love with those around her. She lived in a seaside town called Joppa, which is about 2,000 miles from here in the country of Israel. The woman we're talking about was called Dorcas and she was a great lady. A guy called Luke wrote an account of Dorcas's story found in the Bible and here it is. Dorcas was a follower of Jesus and she wanted to do the things that Jesus taught us to do. One of the things that Dorcas knew Jesus wanted her to do was to love other people. So Dorcas spent all of her time doing good and helping the poor. In her little home, Dorcas made lots of clothes. She would then take them to women and children in and around Joppa who needed them. The families were so grateful. Dorcas so loved Jesus and wanted to show his love to other people that she went all over the place helping people out. She would share the cakes she baked. Her neighbours were so grateful. But top of her list in helping people out was making clothes for those who couldn't afford to buy them. She made such a difference to everyone around her. Did you see that story? Did you hear it? It was a very, very good story. It's the story, like I said, of a lady called Dorcas. Dorcas was a very, very good lady because she helped the poor. She helped the widows. In those days, widows were very poor because there was no one to help them after their husbands had died. So what Dorcas would do, she would sew clothes and also give the poor thereafter. Not only that, she also did very kind deeds. Maybe she'd visit someone sick in hospital. Maybe she'd pray for them. She was also a disciple of Jesus. She was a follower. She believed Jesus. What we say is that Dorcas loved Jesus and the way she showed that she loved Jesus was by the things she did. She helped the needy. She helped the poor. And that really blessed others and blessed God. And it made God very happy. Dorcas served the poor. And everybody loved her. 
And you know what, boys and girls? That can be you. That can also be me. I can serve God in any way with my gifts. Maybe like I said, you have many toys. You can share your toys with your neighbor and with your friend. Maybe you have food and your other friend doesn't have. You could share your food. You could pray for them. We can all be like Dorcas and make God happy. Do you want to be like Dorcas? I want to be like Dorcas. God wants us to be like Dorcas, to do good and kind deeds to all those around, around us so that God can be blessed and the glory can go to him. Boys and girls, before we say a prayer, I'd like to sing a song on serving. You know, we all know it. So I'd like you to join me in singing this song. It goes like this. When he calls me, I will answer. Yes, let's sing it. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere working for my Lord. I'll be somewhere working, working somewhere, working, working somewhere, working for my Lord. I'll be somewhere working, working somewhere, working, working somewhere, working for my Lord. Nita fanya, fanya kazi fanya, fanya kazi fanya. Kazi ya buwana, nitafanya, fanya kazi fanya, fanya kazi fanya, kazi ya buwana. God wants us to serve him. Let us pray. Close your eyes, boys and girls. Yes, come on, close your eyes. Dear Lord, I thank you for teaching us about Dorcas. Help me to be like Dorcas. Help me to do good and kind deeds like Dorcas. To bring glory to your name and to bless other people. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you. But you know what I had said at the beginning? Dorcas was a disciple of Jesus, and that is how she was able to serve God. I want you also to be able to serve God. You have to be a follower of Jesus. So if you want to be a follower of Jesus, a child of God, let us say this prayer as well so that you can serve God with your gifts. Okay, let's go ahead and pray. Father Jesus, thank you for reminding me that to serve you, I need to be your disciple, just like Dorcas. Dear Jesus, I want to be your disciple. I want to be your follower and I want to be your child. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Thank you for being my friend. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Have you just said that prayer? You are now a child of God. May you go out like Dorcas to use your gifts and your talents to serve God. I will. And now, boys and girls, we've come to that time when we do our memory verse. And our memory verse is very easy. It comes from 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 10. Yes, 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 10. I'll repeat 
First Peter chapter 4 and verse 10. And it says, Each of you should use whatever gifts God has given you to serve others. Each of you should use whatever gifts God has given you to serve others. Yes, boys and girls, and gifts can be toys, it can be your voice, it can be food, whatever you have. Okay, let's just go once more. First Peter chapter 4 and verse 10. And it says, each of you should use whatever gifts God has given you to serve others. Well done. May you keep that verse in your heart even as you serve. It is now time for our craft, boys and girls. Are you ready? Can you see what's on your screen? What has been displayed? For our listeners, I will tell you what we will need. You will need a plain piece of paper and a marker pen, some colored pencils or crayons is also fine. So on the plain rectangular piece of paper, I want you to trace your hand. You can make it a little bit bigger and you can color it. So you can use your colored pencils or you can use your crayons. On top of the paper, using a marker pen, write or tell uh, mommy or daddy to help you write. When I serve others, I serve God. And at the bottom of the paper, write today's memory verse that comes from 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 10. And on the hand that you have drawn, write the acts of kindness that you're going to do this week. So for example, it could be you're going to pray for your friends. It could also be you are going to share your books or your toys. After you have done that, ensure and commit to do the same with permission from your mom, your dad, or your guardian. And be sure to share with us the craft next Sunday. We'd be happy to see it. And with that, boys and girls, I am sure you have enjoyed the lesson. I have, and I commit to be like Dorcas. Make sure you do. So until next time, bye.